Hi, my name is Emma and you're here with Our Ladies Angels. And today we are going to be talking about shelter inside of the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary. So if someone were to ask me a couple minutes ago, what does it mean to be sheltered inside of the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary? I probably wouldn't know <laughs> the answer. <laughs> I probably wouldn't know the answer, but that's just because um, it's been in front of me and in my life all along and I just hadn't stopped to recognize it. So I really feel called to reach out to people who are struggling because I have struggled in so many different kinds of ways. I've struggled with serious sin. I've struggled with health problems. I've struggled with loss, the death of loved ones. I've struggled with other people having health problems. I've struggled with um, my will versus God's will. And I know what it's like to live in complete darkness and in complete light and how freeing that is. And I realize there's so many people out there who are like me, who want freedom, who want peace, and they don't know how to get it. Like they read magazines, they, I don't know, TikTok, I don't know what that is. <laughs> they, they see it in TikTok or YouTube or something. And they're like, why do all these other people have this freedom and peace and joy and love that I feel like I'm meant for? And I'm just never good enough. I'm never there. I'm never reaching that level they're at. Well, I want to wrap you up in my arms and in my arms wrap Mother Mary's arms around both of us and say you are not alone and this feeling inside of you this this longing for peace and joy and freedom just to become full of life you were made for that you're not crazy in wanting these things but the world will never be able to give them to you because you weren't made for the world you were made for something higher you are valuable. You are worthy of love, eternal love that can nobody can ever take that away from you. Not even if you were to sin and be the greatest sinner, could this love be lessened for you? Because this love that you were made for is God. And so today I want to talk about Mother Mary and her immaculate heart and why she is she is our safe haven. She took care of Jesus and she wants to take care of us too. And she wants to lead us to Jesus, who is our peace, who is our joy, who is our freedom, who is love himself. When I was thinking about what does it mean to be inside a Mother Mary's heart, I was thinking about Mother Mary um, with Jesus uh, and Jesus and Calvary. So when Jesus was going up Mount Calvary to die for our sins, imagine Mother Mary her heart, her son, she had to decide she wanted God's will more than her own. She wanted us to have this freedom, joy, and peace, which is Jesus. So she's willing to give up her only son, just like God the Father was willing to give up his only begotten son. Mother Mary was willing to give up her son because she loved us that much. So in doing so, she took on the most extreme heartache there could ever be. She knew more than anybody else that this Jesus was also God. She raised him. She loved him. She risked her life to take care of him. She went to Egypt and fled Herod. Like she risked her life. She risked her life because she wanted to bring the Messiah to the world so that we could be saved from our sins, to be saved from the slavery that sin is. She wanted us to have eternal joy that started right now. And so there's nobody on earth right now who loves you more than Mother Mary does because she is your mom. Jesus told St. John the Beloved, Behold thy mother. But he was saying that to all of us. Behold thy mother. When I was in college, I was in some of the deepest darkness I had ever been in. And the only thing that got me out of that was Mother Mary. It was Jesus, of course. But I needed to believe that somebody loved me that was more relatable than I found God to be at the time. Because Mother Mary is only human. 
And so I could relate to Mother Mary being only human. And I remember my grandmother telling me that she loved me. And so there was a time in college where I was just living in serious sin and my health was failing me. It was making it so that I was going to have to leave college and leave my dream. And that was really scary because at the time I felt like I had nobody in my life that I could turn to. There's nobody that I trusted. I just was very broken inside. And so I put on the Miraculous Medal, or is mine. Okay, so I have a giant Miraculous Medal. I didn't at the time. And so I put this on. Not this exact one, I had a smaller one. that my grandmother had blessed for me when I was 17 when she found out that I had a tumor. And she wanted me to wear it, and I didn't. Because I thought, well, I don't want to wear this because I'd rather wear less of pretty jewelry instead. And so I thought it was like a necklace. You wear it when you have a mat matching outfit for it. <laughs> but when I got into my deep darkness in college, I put it on and I wore it day and night and I didn't take it off because every time that I was alone and I thought things couldn't get worse, I couldn't be more alone or lonely or abandoned, but I'd be like, Mother Mary, and I'd say, please help me. And I didn't feel like I was receiving help at the time. Actually, things kept getting worse, but not, not for long. They were getting much more brighter. I just couldn't see yet. I was still blind. She was bringing me back to church. She was bringing me back to mass. She was bringing me back to my family, to all the problems that I was trying to avoid. Because really what she was doing is bringing me back to Jesus, who wanted to walk with me through every trial, every pain. He wanted to help carry my cross. And so this is what it means to live in the heart of Mary. She wants to bring you to Jesus. She wants to feel all the pains that you feel because she wanted to feel all the pains that Jesus felt. She did not leave him when all of his apostles left him. She did not leave him during his passion. And because she loved him so much, her heart broke in seeing her son die out of love for us. And she willingly wanted to be with him rather than be away from him. She wanted to feel all of his pain. She wanted to enter into his pain, not, not to be shy of his brokenness, literal brokenness on the cross. She wanted to enter into his pain because that's what love does. Love says, I want all of you. I don't want to give up on you. I want your good more than I want my good. And I want God the Father's will for you more than I want my own will. And that's what she says to all of us in our pain too. She says, my beloved child, my, my dear daughter, my dear son, I see that you are suffering. I see that you are alone that you are in need of help and that you don't know where to turn. But I'm not going to leave you because I want more for you than you want for yourself. I want heaven for you. I want heaven for you today and tomorrow and the next day. And I want to pray for you to have the graces that God wants you to have in order for you to be saved from your sins, to not be a slave to your sins anymore. I want you to be free. These are the things that Mama Mary says to us. She says, my dear child, I want you to rest in my immaculate heart. I want you to feel the presence of a mother who loves you and will never give up on you because Jesus never gives up on you. And it's because Jesus loves you that I love you because I love everybody that Jesus loves so joyfully. And I want you to have this joy too. So this is the love that was made for you. You have a mama handpicked by God who loves you and she wants to help you. She wants to be your cheerleader. And she, she will not let you go astray if you put your life into her hands. Because she has only one direction. And that's towards Jesus. And so, my dear friends, I'm so glad to spend this time together with you today. I didn't know what I was going to say. <laughs> but that's okay. Because I just wanted to share this love with you. I wanted to share Mother Mary's love with you. I want to share Jesus' love with you. Because you were made for more. You were made for Jesus. 
And if you are in darkness right now, if there's anything that I can pray for for you, please tell me about it in the comment section. I'm praying for you. I love you. And God loves you. God bless you. And I can't wait to see you soon.